What's up movie fans, I'm the master of movies Clay from the Hills Maniacs and today I'm going to be giving you part one of my updated DVD and Blu-ray collection. Uh, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently. If you've watched my previous collection videos I've done, I've showed you the uh, kind of like flip cases with just the discs in them. Uh, this time I'm going to show you the actual cases for the movies just because there's there's a lot of uh, cool cases here that you know with slip covers or just the imagery on some of the cases and the box sets and stuff. Uh, all the cases are in alphabetical order just like the discs are. Uh, so I will show these like this. The discs are not in these cases, though they are still in the um, those black flip cases that I have. So you won't see any discs in here. Um, but some of these, I just kind of wanted to show the cases because it's it's different and uh, or different than than I normally do. And um, there's there's a lot of cool ones. So I wanted to to do this. I have four or five of these giant clear bins of just empty cases um and each case has so many in it obviously it, they're not a perfect you know a through whatever so this one has a through part of c so you won't see all of my c in this one um but you will see some of them so i'm just going to do this whole case uh and i'm going to do ones that i just got within you know a certain time period and haven't put away yet um but i did put the discs in the other cases just haven't put the cases away yet so i'll start with those and then i'll go into the alphabetized ones and show you those uh so the first ones i'm going to talk about here are uh the the two most recent ones that i just picked up uh the movie life uh which i haven't seen I've heard different things about, um, it has Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, Ryan Reynolds, so I figured I'd check it out. It was, it was really cheap, and I guess they're astronauts or something stuck in space, something like that, um, so I'll, I'll definitely probably check that one out at some point, and this one I, I did watch, uh, the day I got it, this is American Underdog, it is the story of the Rams quarterback, Kurt Warner. Uh, well, not the current quarterback, obviously, but um, it is basically his life story, and it's a documentary on him. Uh, Zachary Levi plays Kurt Warner, Anna Paquin's in this as his wife, um, and Dennis Quaid is in this as one of his football coaches. Uh, this was a really good movie. Um, I really like this. So if you're if you're into like football documentaries and stuff, definitely check this one out because that was that was a pretty good uh, movie there. This next one I bought just because you know it was Marvel and to complete it I watched it in theaters and didn't really care and that's Eternals uh, this movie sucked but I bought it on DVD because it is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and if I do a, a full rewatch I'll have to include this at some point um, but I'm not looking forward to rewatching this <laughs> I'm really not I know some people really liked Eternals um, but I just I didn't uh, so the next one I have is, I think, the only Blu-ray that I haven't put away yet, uh, and that's Jungle Cruise. I saw this in theaters. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, Emily Blunt, Jake Whitehall, Paul Giamatti. Uh, really good kind of, like, adventure film um, where they're basically looking for, like, a lost treasure type of thing. Um, and it was it was really good movie. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people you know hated on it and stuff but i i had a good time with it so i i thought it was pretty good uh, this next one another one i saw in theaters um and it still has the price tag on it but um because i hate when they put it on the actual case and you can't get it off without special things without ruining the case uh, but that's halloween kills i think it was good for the most part uh compared to halloween 2018 i'm gonna say 2018 was better um, but Halloween Kills was not that bad of a movie. I know a lot of people hated on it. There were parts of this that you could have changed. Um, and things that didn't make sense and just it, all this different stuff happening. But I overall, for a solid Halloween movie, um, I, I thought this was pretty good. Uh, and I'm looking forward to Halloween Ends uh, whenever it comes out. 
This, this though, I, I really enjoyed. I haven't rewatched it since I got it, but um, I probably will just because I, I had I had a good time with it. Uh, the next one I have not seen yet. This is the newest of the Daniel Craig James Bond movies. Uh, that's No Time to Die. I've only seen, I think, two James Bond movies ever. And both of them were Daniel Craig. Uh, we had Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace, I think, were the two that I saw. Um, so, I mean, I, I've never really gotten into James Bond. I have a lot of them. I have at least one movie from each actor that's played James Bond. Um, so I'll probably watch them. I know you don't have to watch all of them in order, but I'll, I'll probably watch more of these eventually if I get to it. I'm not a huge fan of James Bond, but, uh, this was the newest one and I just bought it because it is a James Bond movie. Uh, this next one, well, these next two actually, uh, I got for Christmas. My mom got me, uh, the first season of the Flintstones, uh, and the Witches of Eastwick. Um, have not seen either one of those yet. The Flintstones, obviously a classic, just haven't watched it yet. And The Witches of Eastwick I've heard of. I know it has Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon, and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, the next one I have, we actually watched on TV, on uh, on Pure Flix, uh, and that's God's Not Dead, We the People. Now, you'll see later on in another part of these uh, collection videos, I do have the first, this is the fourth God's Not Dead movie. I have the first three, um, and I enjoy all of them. You know, there, there's some that you can give or take, but I enjoy all of them. These are solid, basically, uh, Christian movies that, that are dealing with issues, you know, in Christianity in today's world. Like, this one is, is uh, you know, they, they basically, people want to homeschool their kids, uh, and they're teaching like Bible stories and stuff, but they're also homeschooling like other kids, uh, and their parents don't want them to teach them that, and you know these things happen, and they go to court, and it's basically about showing Christianity in in America, and it was a really good movie. I haven't rewatched it since I bought it on DVD, but I'm looking forward to rewatching it again just because I had fun with it uh, the first time. Uh, if you're into Christian movies and stuff like that, then go ahead and check out those because they are really good movies. Uh, from Pure Flix. The next one I have here is a Nicolas Cage film called Pig. Um, I have not seen this. I heard about it, you know, but I, I haven't watched it yet. So if you've seen this, let me know what it's like. Um, another one I have here, or the next one I have here is another Nicolas Cage one. Uh, it's called Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Another one I haven't seen. Um, I know he's been doing a lot of these, like, um, kind of, I don't want to say mediocre, but, um, more like just random uh, movies and stuff. And Nicolas Cage has been doing a lot of those recently, and I, I bought a lot of them. He's not my favorite actor, but um, I've heard some of these are good, so I do want to check this out, and that's just kind of a cool <laughs> slip cover on that. Um, but I'll probably check this one out eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it, so again, if you've seen it, let me know. And the last one I have here that I just recently picked up uh, is the movie Dune. I did not watch this in theaters. Um, I heard mixed things about it. So I'm kind of looking forward to checking it out, but again, haven't gotten around to it yet. So um, that's it for the recent pickups, and now we'll start going into the uh, alphabetized ones. Uh, the first one I have here is a, an Academy Award winner for Best Picture, starring Russell Crowe, uh, and that's A Beautiful Mind. Um, he plays basically, I think it's based on a true story, but he plays, I think he's like a schizophrenic, uh, math, mathematician professor or something. Um, and he's, he's kind of a genius, but I think he's like schizophrenic or something like that. And it kind of shows his life and the struggle that he goes through without realizing that, that he's going through any of this stuff. Um, you know, Russell Crowe's in it, Ed Harris. Uh, Jennifer Connelly, Christopher Plummer, you know, there's Judd Hirsch, uh, Paul Bettany is in this. So there's there's a lot of uh, big name people in this. And if you haven't checked this out, uh, definitely go watch it. I did a review on this when I did my um, when I started my Oscars series on the best picture winners and watching them and reviewing them so i did a review on this so you can go check that out and then go check out this movie because uh it is a really good 
movie. Uh, the next one I have is A Bridge Too Far. Um, I've never seen this. I think I found this for, for cheap. Um, and it's basically like a war movie. Um, it looks like it takes place uh, after the Normandy invasion. Um, so, it just, I know Michael Caine, Sean Connery, uh, James Caan, uh, Gene Hackman, Anthony Hopkins... You know, I'm, I'm reading the back. Lawrence Olivier, Robert Redford. Um, so a lot of big names in this one too. Uh, and I've heard, I've heard, you know, mixed reviews on this. I, I do want to check it out though, because there's uh, a lot of good actors in this, and it does seem like an interesting movie. So I'll probably check that out at some point. The next one is a Pixar movie, uh, A Bug's Life. Um, obviously I've seen A Bug's Life. Uh, I've seen most of the Pixar movies. Um, one of my favorites. I know, and I always had a good time with this, you know, growing up. And, uh, so it, it's fun. If, if you haven't seen A Bug's Life, um, what are you doing? Because this, this is one of my favorite Pixar movies. Uh, the next one I have is A Christmas Carol. This is the animated Disney version with Jim Carrey voicing... Uh, Scrooge and one of the ghosts and somebody else I think I think he does three or four characters in this um, it's basically a, a an animated rendition of uh, the Christmas Carol so nothing really changes much um, it's the same as every other Christmas Carol it's just animated there are some slight changes to it but um, overall the the Christmas Carol movie in general uh, is is a great Christmas movie and there's many many different adaptations of it I know we had one with obviously Jim Carrey voiced Scrooge and then there was one with um, Patrick Stewart and uh, so there's there's been a lot of other um, people playing it and I have one of the originals on blu-ray with uh, George C. Scott, which you'll see later on when I show off my Blu-rays, because this part, these first couple parts are just going to be DVDs. Um, but I have the George C. Scott one too, of A Christmas Carol. So great Christmas movie. Another one. Here's another classic uh, Christmas movie here, and this is A Christmas Story. Um, of course, you know Ralphie and his Red Rider BB gun. Um, and what I like about this case is it actually opens up. Uh, and there's a snow globe that kind of comes out uh, inside, so that's that's kind of cool. This was like a Walmart uh, slip cover, um, so that's kind of cool. This is a classic. It's on TV, I think 24 hours before Christmas, so Christmas Eve all day, and it's on DVD, obviously. Uh, great movie. If you haven't seen this, go check it out. You know, it's it's our mom's favorite Christmas movie, and I I enjoy watching it too. Um, you know, there's, there's still things that, that we quote from this, and it's just, it's such a classic. Um, the next one I have is A Dog's Journey. I have not seen any of these in this series. Um, I think there was, what, three, I think, in the series? Uh, I have, I have the second one, and then I have another one which I think is part of this series. Um, but I haven't seen any of these, so this is A Dog's Journey which I think is the second one in the series anyways. The next one I have is A Dog's Purpose, which is the first one. Uh, and then A Dog's Way Home, which I'm not sure if it's part of the series. I don't know if it is or not, but I think it's kind of similar to it. Um, so I have those. I haven't seen any of those. Uh, the next one I have a two-pack of A Few Good Men and Jerry Maguire. Have not seen either one of these. I know they're classics, um, so I'll probably have to check those out at some point. Uh, the next one is A Kind of Murder, uh, again with another price tag on it. Um, one that, it, when I read the description on the back, sounds kind of interesting, so uh, I figured I'd, I'd pick it up. And it, it, I think it's kind of like a murder mystery type of thing, and I'm into a lot of those movies, so I figured I'd pick it up and check it out, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, the next one I actually watched in high school. Uh, it's a Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. Um, we were doing something talking about uh, like medieval knights and stuff, and and uh, for whatever reason in my com lit class we watched a Knight's Tale. I do remember liking it, so I picked it up on DVD. Haven't rewatched it since then, um, so it's been a while. But I do remember liking it when I first watched it. 
Uh, the next one I have is, well, these next two are ones that I got, and I bought a set of, like, 50 random movies and stuff, um, and this was one of the ones I got, A Lot Like Love, never watched it, don't know what it's about, uh, and then A Matador's Mistress, another one that I never watched, nor did I know much about. Uh, the next one is the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Complete Collection. I think it's the complete collection, or at least eight, eight movies. Um, it has Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, then three, Dream Warriors, four, The Dream Master, five, The Dream Child, uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, and a copy of Freddy vs. Jason, which I also have another copy of on Blu-ray. You know, there's some of these that are give or take, um, but the, the original is obviously a classic. And I had fun with Freddy vs. Jason. I know a lot of people hate on it, um, but I didn't mind Freddy vs. Jason. As as a solo film, it is it is not bad. If you look at it as part of this series or part of the Friday the 13th series, it's a bad movie. But if you look at it by itself, it's a fun movie. Um, but I've only seen... I mean, I think I've seen the first five of these. I don't remember... Um, all of them, I know for a fact I've seen the first two, but the three, four, and five, I don't remember. I've never seen Freddy's Dead or New Nightmare, so, um, I'll have to check those out, but I did do, um, an Inconsistencies video for the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie, so you can check that out on this channel. Um, but, yeah, these are obviously classic horror movies. Uh, the next one I have is A Perfect Planet, which is a documentary, uh, from BBC, narrated by Sir David Attenborough. I love all of these. Um, you know, I, I'm really into animals and wildlife and learning about all that kind of stuff. So uh, these are these are always great to watch. I haven't watched this one yet because this is one of the newer ones. Um, but I have seen a lot of these, and I I really love David Attenborough's stuff when he when he does these. Uh, if you're into those nature documentaries and stuff, definitely check out all of. The stuff from the BBC and, and David Attenborough and what what he does. The work he does on those is just great. Uh, the next one I have is A Quiet Place. I really like this movie. Uh, Emily Blunt and uh, John Krasinski are in this. And it was a unique concept for a movie um, where they, they basically have to stay quiet and they can't make a lot of noise or these creatures will hear them and, and come attack them. Uh, and they just made a second one, which I haven't watched. I have it on Blu-ray, uh, so you'll see that when I get to my Blu-rays. But I really enjoyed the first one. haven't seen the second one yet. Uh, the next one I have is A Score to Settle, another one of these Nicolas Cage ones. Um, I haven't seen this one yet, but if you've, if you've seen this, let me know what it's like, because uh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, a Time to Kill, another one of those movies I got in that set of... 50 random movies or whatever it was um sandra bullock samuel L. jackson matthew mcconaughey um kevin spacey oliver pratt ashley judd there's a lot of people in this movie donald sutherland uh so there's there's a lot of movies in this or a lot of big time actors in this and I know I've heard mixed reviews on this, so I'll, I'll see what it's like. I'll, I'll watch it eventually. Uh, this one I have seen. This is a Liam Neeson one, A Walk Among the Tombstones. This was a weird movie. Um, but, hey, it's it's a Liam Neeson movie. That's why I bought it and watched it. I didn't hate it. It was just weird. Um, so, yeah. And he has a new movie coming out very soon, if it's not already out in theaters. Uh, the next one I have is... AI, artificial intelligence. Heard mixed things about this. Uh, haven't seen it yet, so I'll have to watch that. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have seen it. Um, the next one I have is the Abbott and Costello show. Who's on first? Uh, and it's one. Of, it's it, uh, it's got a couple different skits from Abbott and Costello. They were two comedians back in the uh, I want to say like 60s, 70s, maybe earlier. And one of the the main thing on here is their joke who's on first which is one about baseball um but there's there's a couple other ones on here too uh, i've only watched the who's on first one because it's one of my favorite ones but uh, check them out if you haven't seen it they have clips on youtube and stuff of some of their uh their skits that they do 
Next one uh, is Abduction, starring Taylor Lautner. I've seen this one. I really like this. Sigourney Weaver, uh, Alfred Molina, Lily Collins, Jason Isaacs is in it. But it was a really good movie. Basically, his parents end up dead, and people are chasing him down because his parents knew something, or they were spies or something like that. And um, they end up, and Sigourney Weaver is his protector in a way, which, I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with Sigourney Weaver protecting you, right? This next one I got in that set of random movies. Uh, this is about Schmidt with uh, Jack Nicholson. Haven't seen it, didn't even really know about it. So let me know if you've seen that. Uh, the next one is The Accountant, another movie. I've heard a lot of people talk about, um, and... Uh, I know Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal, and Jeffrey Tambor are in this. Um, and uh, I've heard good things about it, just haven't watched it yet. The next one I have seen, that's Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Uh, I know they have a second one, I don't have that one yet. Um, but I thought this was pretty funny for, you know, I mean, it's Jim Carrey, obviously. It's going to be a funny movie, so I really enjoyed that one. The next one is Ash Action Classics Unleashed. Unleashed. It's a four movie collection. Uh, it has the Assassination Games, Double Team, Maximum Risk, and Until Death. And these are all Jean Claude Van Damme movies. I've never seen any of these, but I know he's in a lot of action stuff. And so I picked this up to watch these because I'm into the action stuff. The next one is the Adam Sandler four movie collection. It's got Click, which I have another copy of, you'll see later. Uh, Big Daddy, Fifty First Dates, and Mr. Deeds. I've seen Fifty First Dates cl and Click. I've seen parts of Big Daddy, and I've seen Mr. Deeds. I just don't remember it. Uh, but Adam Sandler is hilarious. If you haven't seen any of his movies, definitely go check them out. All right, so the next one I have uh, is The Adams Family, the animated one, uh, with a lot of big-named actors in it. I know they just had a second one. Um, I haven't watched this yet. I do kind of want to see it just to see what it's like, um, but I haven't gotten around to watching that yet. The next one I got, because it's a Disney movie and I was trying to get all the, the uh, Disney movies, I got this at FYE. This is The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, uh, which is basically the story of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman and stuff. So I haven't really watched it but uh, I picked it up because it was a Disney movie. This next one I've seen, uh, The Adventures of Tintin, which has, uh, this is a Spielberg movie, and it has um, Jamie Bell, Andy Serkis, Daniel Craig, so a lot of uh, people in this movie. Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson. This was a fun movie. It's an animated movie, so check that out if you haven't. Uh, the next one is Agatha and the Truth of Murder. I guess this is basically Agatha Christie helps solve a murder based off of her books, I guess. Um, and so, I haven't watched it yet, but uh, it, it gave me, like, the Raven vibes. Uh, I don't know if you, if you haven't seen the movie The Raven, which I have, you'll see later on in another collection video, um, where Edgar Allan Poe helps solve a murder, or multiple murders, based off of his stories, so... That's kind of what that gave me the feeling of. Uh, the next one is Agent Cody Banks. Uh, I remember liking this when I first saw it. And uh, I haven't rewatched it since I bought it on DVD. But it's got uh, Frankie Muniz and uh, Hilary Duff. And Ian McShane is in it too. Uh, the next one is a two movie collection. It's got Air Force One and In the Line of Fire. Air Force One obviously. Harrison Ford and Clint Eastwood. Um, in... Uh, in the line of fire haven't seen either one of these but two classic actors so uh, I'll probably watch that at some point the next one is another two pack this is the airplane and airplane 2 the sequel haven't seen either one of these um, I know they're classics at least the first one is uh, so I should probably get around to watching that the next one is another Disney movie uh, that's Aladdin um, haven't actually watched the full Aladdin movie. I know there's three of them. Well, four if you count the remake. Um, this is the original animated one. Uh, haven't really seen the, the full thing, but obviously, you know, Robin Williams did a great job as the genie. This next one, I don't know why I still have this, or the, well, these next two actually, because I have the whole collection on Blu-ray, so I probably could get rid of these, uh, but that's Aliens and Alien 3 on DVD. I have the full collection 
uh, on Blu-ray. But I guess I kept this one just because it's got kind of a cool, it's got one of these like flipped open cases. I told you there wouldn't be any discs. Um, and this is, this is a cool case for Aliens, I guess that's why I kept it. But Alien 3 I really don't need um, because I have the full collection on Blu-ray. Uh, but classic movies. I don't think there's been an Aliens movie I haven't liked. I mean, there's some that I like less than the others, but I've, I've for the most part, liked all of them, I think. Uh, this next one is uh, an Alien Battlefield Earth. This was a $5 movie from Walmart. I don't know. It, it's an Alien movie, so not part of the Alien franchise, but it's still an Alien movie. Uh, this next one is All Hallows' Eve, October 30th. Um, I guess basically this group of kids goes out to film a documentary about like Halloween night or something and something ends up happening for real um, and people go missing and things start happening so the next one is uh, a wrestling DVD a WWE one uh, allied powers the world's greatest tag teams it's basically a documentary on uh, the some of the greatest tag teams in wrestling history uh, the next one I have is Aloha Fluffy. This is uh, Fluffy, a.k.a. Gabriel Iglesias. Well, Gabriel Iglesias, a.k.a. Fluffy. Um, this is his stand-up comedy show from Hawaii. Uh, really funny guy. If you haven't seen any of his stuff, go check it out. Um, it's not clean comedy, so don't expect that. But um, I really enjoyed the, the Hawaii one. Uh, the next one is Alpha. This was a good movie, um, but... It was all in, like, there was no English, so you had to read uh, subtitles. And um, I didn't mind the movie. I just, trying to read subtitles and watch the movie at the same time is just, I hate trying to do that. But basically this kid uh, gets saved by wolves and ends up getting raised by wolves. And then, uh, you know, things happen, so him and the wolf form a bond and... and um, it, it was a really good movie. I just wish they would have English. Um, the next one is Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein. I watched this on VHS, actually. Uh, and I just picked this up just for the nostalgia, I guess. Um, it's an animated movie, but the slipcover actually is supposed to glow in the dark. I don't know whether or not it actually does. Um, but that's why I picked that one up. The next one I have is The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Other than the fact that Andrew Garfield is in the new Spider-Man, um, that movie sucked. The next one is America at All Costs. This is a John Wayne movie. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen really any of his movies, but I have a whole collection you'll see later on. Uh, American Hustle. Again, some big-named actors and actresses. Uh, haven't seen this, though, so need to watch that one. I've heard mixed things on it. Uh, American Psycho. Uh, haven't seen this one. I've seen parts of Psycho, the you know the original one, uh, but I know I know the premise of this movie and stuff. But I know a lot of people love this movie, so I need to check that one out too. Uh, the next one is the Amityville Horror uh, three movie collection. So it's got the Amityville Horror from 1979, Amityville two, The Possession, and Amityville three, The Demon. Uh, haven't seen any of these either. And then I believe this is the remake of. Uh, Amityville Horror. Ryan Reynolds is in this. Um, so, yeah. I haven't seen that one either. Uh, the next one I have is... This was at Dollar Tree, I think. Either that or Walmart, but it was, like, real cheap. Um, this is Ancestral World. It sounded interesting. Haven't really watched it yet. Uh, the next two I have are Anchorman and Anchorman The Legend Continues. Haven't seen either one of these, but they're Will Ferrell movies, you know, and I know a lot of people hate on some on one or both of them, and I can see why. Um, I just haven't watched them yet, so I like to watch a movie before I say if it sucks or not. But the next one I have is Angel Has Fallen, which is the newest one, I believe, in the, um, I guess you could call it, Has Fallen trilogy. Uh, there was Olympus Has Fallen, then London Has Fallen, and now Angel Has Fallen. Haven't seen this one. I saw Olympus Has Fallen. I haven't seen London Has Fallen, and I haven't seen this one. Uh, so I'll have to watch it. I think you have to watch them in order, so I'll have to watch London Has Fallen before I watch this. But Olympus Has Fallen was good. Uh, the next one I have is Angels in the Outfield. 
I bought this just basically for the Disney collection. Um, but I, I do remember watching this on VHS, and it was a good movie. Uh, this next one is Anna Music 2. We actually watched this in band class. It's basically just a bunch of robots that play different instruments and stuff. And it was there's no talking or no premise to it. They just play music. Uh, but it was basically showing different technology and stuff. So that was, was kind of cool to see. And the way they made the lights light up with the music and stuff. It was just really cool. And I, I just really liked it when, when I started playing saxophone. So I just bought it. and you know. But it's just music. Uh, and the next one for this pile I have is Anna. Um, big named actresses and actors in this. And it seemed interesting. Haven't watched it. Haven't really heard anybody talk about it. But... Uh, it did seem interesting, so I picked it up. Uh, so the next one I have is uh, Annihilation. And this was a weird movie, but it was good. Uh, Natalie Portman, uh, Tessa Thompson's in it, uh, Oscar Isaac. It, it was good. It was just weird. Um, so, yeah. I, I liked it, though. But it was, it was just weird. Uh, the next one is Ant-Man. Not my favorite MCU movie, but definitely not my least favorite. Uh, then we have Ants, which is basically DreamWorks version of uh, A Bug's Life, I think. Um, I haven't seen this, but that's what I've heard it's about. I got this because I'm trying to collect all the, the DreamWorks movies, and uh, so that's why I picked that up, but I haven't seen it. Uh, the next one is Apocalypse Now. Um, I haven't seen it, but I got this in that set of random movies. Uh, then we have Apostles of Comedy. This is basically three different comedians and their skits. They're all clean uh, comics, um, but they're, they're pretty funny. Uh, then we have Aquaman. I know a lot of people hate it on this, but you know what? For a DC film, I didn't mind this movie. I really didn't. Um, you know, Jason Momoa, I think, does great as Aquaman, and of course, Nicole Kidman. Um, Tamora Morrison's in it as his father, and, um, Willem Dafoe, so Dolph Lundgren's in it, um, so there's a lot of good actors in it, and Julie Andrews even voices the, the, uh, Kraken or Squid, whatever he ends up facing later on, um, but I liked it, it's one of my favorite DC films, uh, is Aquaman, and that's, that's a high standard for DC films at this point. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I haven't seen, you know, but it it seemed interesting. I know it's based off of books. Uh, the next one is Argo. Another one I have to watch because I believe it won Best Picture. And uh, I need to do a review of this. I know a lot of people love this movie, so I need to review that. Uh, this next one is Arrival. Um, another one I haven't seen, but I've heard mixed reviews on, so i got to check that one out at some point. Uh, the Art of War, another one I got in that set of random movies. Uh, Wesley Snipes, never seen this. I never really even heard of it until I got it, so I don't know much about it. Uh, then we have Arthur Christmas. I saw bits of this, and I didn't mind it. It was basically he grows up in like a family of Santa Clauses or something like that. It's an animated movie, and it's fun. Uh, the next one is Astro, which is basically, I think, people get stuck on a space station or something. and uh, Yeah, I don't know. It was it was a cheap uh, kind of like sci-fi-ish alien movie, so I picked that one up. Uh, this next one is Astronaut with uh, Richard Dreyfuss. Haven't seen this. Um, haven't really heard anybody talk about it either. Uh, the next one I got at Dollar Tree, it's, uh, it's called Asura, uh, the City of Madness. Um, I don't know, it looked cool, so I grabbed that. Uh, the next one, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, another Disney movie that I picked up just for that. I haven't seen this, um, well, I've seen parts of it. I haven't seen a full Atlantis movie. I think there's a second one, too, uh, which I never watched. Attack from Beneath, which is... Basically, kind of like a, an alien monster movie thing from Dollar Tree. Uh, seemed interesting, and it was only a dollar, so I picked it up. Uh, the next one is another WWE one. Uh, this is the Attitude Era. It's basically like the greatest moments of WWE's Attitude Era. Uh, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll know what that means. Uh, the next one is Avatar. 
the I think it's back to uh, the number one highest grossing movie. If not, it's still in second. Um, but I think I think it went back to number one. Um, so I like Avatar. I know there's people that hate it, but now did it deserve to be highest grossing movie? Probably not. Um, but I know they're making a second one, and they were, I think they were planning on going to five. Now that it's owned by Disney, who knows? Um, but I really liked the first one, so I'd, I'd be okay with a sequel to it. Uh, the next one is The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Kate Beckinsale, John C. Riley, Kate Blanchett, Alec Baldwin, uh, Jude Law. So there's a lot of people in this one. I haven't seen this. I've heard mixed things on it, so I do want to check it out. Um, the next one I have is Alien vs. Predator and then a two-pack of Alien vs. Predator and Alien vs. Predator, Predator Requiem. Um, the second one you could do without, and I only bought this because it has the second one. Um, I already had the first one on DVD. The first one, I don't mind as a solo movie. If you count it as part of the Alien or Predator franchises... The movie doesn't make any sense because of the continuity and stuff. But if you count it as a solo film, I didn't mind this movie. You get some awesome action between the aliens and the predators. Um, and I just, I really enjoyed this first one. The second one doesn't make any sense and it doesn't need to exist, but it does. Uh, but this one, I really enjoyed this for a solo movie. I don't consider it part of either one, but it is part of both franchises. Uh, the next one is Baby Driver. I've seen bits of this. Um, I haven't watched this fully yet, so let me know your thoughts on that if you've seen it. Uh, the next one is the Back to the Future trilogy classics. Um, again, haven't watched a full movie in this trilogy. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I got bored or if I just didn't care at the time I was trying to watch it, but... Um, I haven't seen a full one of these movies, so I probably should. The next one is a two-pack of Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. I bought this because I wanted to check them out. I know they just came out with another one, um, but I just never got around to watching this. Uh, and then the last one for this pile is uh, Balto, which, I don't know. It was just a, a movie that I kind of wanted to watch. I don't know why, um, but so I got that. Uh, so the next one I have is Bambi, um, a classic Disney movie. Uh, if you haven't seen Bambi, why? Um, the next one I got was from the, well, the next two I got were from that set of random movies. Uh, Band Slam, I have no clue what that is. And uh, the Bang Bang Club, no clue. Uh, but I kept them because they're movies, and I like movies. Uh, the next one is another wrestling one. This is the Bash 2009 as a pay-per-view event. Then I have Batman. Uh, this is, I believe this is, is this Michael Keaton? Yeah, no, yes. Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, and Kim Basinger. So uh, Jack Nicholson is Joker. Michael Keaton is Batman. Um, really cool slipcover. I mean, compared to the actual case, uh, I, I really like this slipcover. Uh, the next one I have is Batman the Movie. Uh, this is a really old one. Um, Adam West and Burt Ward as Batman and Robin. Um, haven't seen this, but it's Batman. Uh, then we have Batman Returns with uh, Danny DeVito as um, Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer as uh, Catwoman. And then, of course, Michael Keaton again as Batman. Um, haven't seen this one, so... I haven't seen that many Batman movies outside of The Dark Knight. Uh, this one I have seen, Batman v Superman. Yeah. Um, and this one, unfortunately, I've seen. Um, Batman and Robin. Uh, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Uma Thurman as um, uh, Poison Ivy. Whatever. Uh, George Clooney as Batman, Chris O'Donnell as Robin, whatever. Um, 
yeah, it's not that good of a movie. The next one I have is Batman the 80th Anniversary. This is an 18 film collection. These are all animated movies. I'm not going to read all of those, so I'll try and show it if you can see it. You can read that. Um, but, yeah, there's 18 different uh, animated Batman movies. I haven't seen any of those. Uh, next is Battle Los Angeles. Another one I haven't seen but heard good things about, so I do want to check that one out. This next one was kind of like a, one of those cheap movies from Walmart or something. Uh, Beast Legends. It sounded interesting. It basically has like the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot and stuff and things are happening and whatever. But I um, just haven't watched it. Uh, the next one is Beast of Burden, which has Daniel Radcliffe. Another one I haven't seen, uh, but this was... Um, I picked this up because, you know, it's Daniel Radcliffe. I want to see what else he's doing outside of Harry Potter. But I guess he basically, um, he has to end up smuggling drugs or something from Mexico to here or vice versa. Uh, and it's just, yeah, something, something along those lines. So, uh, I don't think he realizes that he's doing it or something like that. And so... Uh, I do want to check that out, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, next is Beautiful Creatures. Don't know why I bought that. Uh, and then another one I got from that the random set of movies is uh, Because I Said So. With uh, Diane Keaton and Mandy Moore. Don't know much about it, but I didn't buy it. I got it in that set. Alright, so the next one I have is another DreamWorks one. Uh, it's B-Movie. I have seen this. It's been a while, but I've seen this. Um... I remember liking it, but I mostly bought it for the DreamWorks collection. Uh, then we have Beethoven, the complete collection. It has all eight Beethoven movies. I've only seen the first one. Um, Being, this is one of those like cheap sci-fi ones from like Dollar Tree or something. I uh, don't know much about it, but it looked cool, so I bought it. Uh, Being John Malkovich. I don't know why I got this, um, but... Yeah, I've heard good things about it, so figured I'd check it out. Uh, next is the Ben Stiller three-film collection. This has Tropic Thunder, Zoolander, and The Heartbreak Kid. Uh, I've seen bits of Tropic Thunder, but haven't seen the other two, um, so I'll have to check those out at some point. Next is uh, the Best of Jeff Hardy uh, Enigma DVD. This is another wrestling one. Uh, and then another wrestling one is uh, the Best of Raw the year 93 to 2008 so next we have uh the best of sherlock holmes this is a tin this is kind of cool um it's two discs i think yeah two discs um but it has basil rathbone for most of them as sherlock holmes there's 10 movies here uh from basil rathbone and well there's there's a couple different people on here but um Basil Rathbone is one of my favorite Sherlock Holmes I've seen a couple of these and uh, I don't know it's just something I don't know if it's because it's an older one or what but it's just I, I like a lot of these original Sherlock Holmes things uh next is the best of the X Division this is an Impact Wrestling uh DVD this is volumes one and two and it's basically about their X Division uh which is like the high flyers and stuff uh, Better Off Dead from, by or, yeah, starring John Cusack. Uh, haven't seen it, but heard mixed things about it. Uh, the next one is uh, The Bible, and um, we watched it on TV. Uh, and then they came out with A.D. The Bible Continues, which was basically the life after the crucifixion. Great um, retelling of different Bible stories and things that happen. Uh, so this is one of the better things. So if you're into like these these types of things... Um, this is one of the better retellings of the Bible stories and stuff. Then another one I got in that set is Bicentennial Man uh, with Robin Williams. Haven't seen this, heard mixed things about it, but need to check that out because I love Robin Williams and most of the stuff he does. Uh, the next one I have is Bigfoot Wars. It's, it's a weird movie. It really is. Um, Big Legend, I haven't seen this, but it's basically another thing about Bigfoot. Um, yeah. The next one is the, uh, Bogart Collection. Um, Bogart and Bacall double feature. 
has got the big sleep and Key Largo with Humphrey Bogart and uh, Lauren Bacall in both movies. And um, Humphrey Bogart, you know, Academy Award winner. Um, but I haven't seen these yet. The next one, another one I got in that set of random movies, uh, The Big Wedding. I don't know anything about it. Um, next is Bill and Ted's Excellent Double Feature. It has Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Haven't seen either one of these. I know they just had an, a third one, so I should probably watch those and then get the third one. Uh, next is Bill Nye the Science Guy. Um, this is basically, this isn't like one of those ones that you would watch in, in science class in high school. This is basically a documentary on Bill Nye, which is kind of cool. Uh, next is another wrestling one. This is Biography, uh, WWE Legends, Volume 1. So it's basically, you know, uh, the stories of some of the Hall of Fame wrestlers from WWE. Uh, next is Birdman, which I bought for the oscars uh rewatch and stuff and just haven't gotten around to watching this one yet but i've heard it's a good movie and it won best picture so obviously probably was birds of prey and the fabulous emancipation of one harley quinn i don't know why i bought that <laughs> i really don't uh this next one is black beauty um with a basically like a color a slip cover that you can color in um, I just bought it because it was cheap, I guess. Uh, Black Death. Uh, this movie sounded interesting. It's got Sean Bean in it. Um, and it gave me kind of like the, the Lord of the Rings type of vibe. Not because he's in it, but just because of kind of what it was described as. Um, but I haven't watched it, so I'll have to check it out. Uh, and then the next one is Black Hawk Down. Uh, Ewan McGregor, Josh Hartnett. Ewan McGregor, Tom Seesmore, Eric Bana, William Fickner, Ewan Brenner, Bremner, and Sam Shepard. Um, I've heard great things about this, so I need to check that one out too. Uh, so we have Black Sea, uh, Jude Law, and it was just kind of like a cheesy movie, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't remember why I bought it. Speaking of cheesy movies, Blackwater Abyss, this was at Dollar Tree. It, like one of those like horror shark movies or something. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, the Blacklist Season 1. I bought this because, well, first off, I've seen the first three seasons, two or three seasons of this. And then I kind of fell off of it. Um, but I bought this because I was on Amazon and needed to throw something in. And this was really cheap. So I was like, hey, why not? Um, I haven't rewatched it, but I do remember liking the first two seasons, and then after that, it just kind of went downhill for me, I guess, and I stopped watching, so I have no clue what's going on now. Uh, Blackout Invasion Earth, another one of those, like, Dollar Tree or $5 movies from Walmart. Um, it sounded interesting and different, so I bought it, but haven't watched it. Um, a classic Blade with Wesley Snipes. Uh, haven't seen the full thing so i sh probably should watch that uh and then another classic blade runner another movie that i should probably watch uh next is blades of glory um i've seen parts of this but um yeah will ferrell's in it so i've only seen parts of it though I haven't seen the full thing uh next is the blind side which gave sandra bullock her academy award um, not a bad movie about the life of, uh, Michael Orr, who was a, a football player. Um, I think they said that some of this stuff was kind of inaccurate, but, um, whatever. It was still, a, it was still a good movie. Uh, Blood Diamond, um, haven't seen this, but I've heard people talk about it, so I'll probably check it out. Bloodshot, starring Vin Diesel. I heard this was good, um. So I should probably check that out at some point, too. Uh, another one I got in that random set is Blue Crush 2. Don't know what it's about. I don't know why it's the second one. But that's what you get when you order random movies. Uh, next is uh, The Blue Planet. Um, this is another documentary from BBC narrated by David Attenborough. Uh, 
the ocean is just great. Like it's, you know, it's one of my favorite things to learn about. Um, I mean, all of these in general are my favorite, but these ones, Blue Planet stuff is just great. I love sharks. So, uh, learning about these different ones, um, this is, this, this was great. This is a great box set. Um, check these out if you're into like nature documentaries and stuff. Uh, the next one is Blue Planet Seas of Life, which is a different than the last one I just showed. Uh, also good. Blue Planet 2, uh, another great one. I watched this on TV, the full thing. And when it came out on DVD, I had to buy it because, again, love these documentaries. Really great. The Blue Planet ones are my favorite. Um, boar. I bought this because it sounded interesting. It's about, like, a killer boar. Um which is kind of different, I guess. Uh, but I haven't watched this yet. But, yeah. If you've seen this, let me know. But I picked it up because it sounded interesting. And just haven't watched it. Uh, Body at Brighton Rock. Again, haven't seen this yet. But, it sounded cool. Uh, the next one is Bolt. Which has the uh, Disney Classics slipcover. Which I guess you could only get in the UK or something. Um, but that's okay. Cause it, so this is a UK edition, but I have a region free player, so I could watch this if I wanted to. But um, I got it just because it's a Disney movie, and I'm trying to get all of them. I do like these cases, though. I wish they would have did this in America. Um, these Disney classic cases. I think it was just a UK thing, though. So that kind of sucks. But I got some of them with it. Uh, next is the Bone Collector. I got this in that set of random movies. I heard it's a good movie, but I should probably check it out. Uh, and then next is another one of those like cheap, cheesy ones, uh, Boogeyman. It's another horror movie. Um, haven't seen it, but I don't know if I ever will either. So the next one I have is uh, the Book of Daniel. I haven't watched this. Don't know how accurate it is, uh, but it's basically the story of Daniel and the Lion's Den, uh, the Bible story. The Book of Eli, which I have seen. Good movie about uh, them trying to take away the Bibles and stuff, and uh, he's blind, so his is in Braille, so even if they get it, they can't read it anyways. Uh, really good movie. Denzel Washington does a great job. Uh, Borat, I haven't seen this. I don't know why I got it, actually. I just kind of picked it up. Um, Boss Baby, I haven't seen, and Boss Baby Family Business, I haven't seen. Got them for the DreamWorks collection. Uh, haven't seen either one of them. I know a lot of people had good times with them, but um, I just haven't gotten around to them yet. Uh, I have the Born Classified Collection. Um, this has, um, it is the Born Identity, Supremacy, Ultimatum, Legacy, and then gives you a spot to put Jason Born, um, which I don't have, but uh, that's all that's in those. Um, I don't know if that's all of them, excluding Jason Bourne. I think there was one after that, maybe. Um, but I watched the first one and liked it, so I'll have to watch the other one. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Haven't seen it. Uh, this I got in that set of random movies. This is The Breakup. Don't know much about it. Uh, Break. This sounded cool. People get stranded on one of these, uh, what are they called, ski lifts. Um, and the cord is snapping and stuff, so they have to figure out a way to get off without dying. Uh, so it sounded interesting. I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Um, Point Break, um, or sorry, Break Point, not Point Break, Break Point. A uh, completely different movie. Um, this was at Dollar Tree. Picked it up. I don't know. Uh, the next one is Breakfast Club, another classic that I haven't seen. Um, next is another one of those ones from that set, Breaking and Entering, another one I knew nothing about. Uh, then I have Breaking Bad, the complete first season. Um, I haven't watched this show yet. I know a lot of people love it. I need to get into watching this. So I bought season one so I could watch it and just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I did the same thing with The Walking Dead and ended up liking The Walking Dead. So, you know, watched the series after it was already popular and stuff. So, uh hopefully this lives up to the expectation for me at least uh, next is another wrestling one this is um bret hart uh the documentary on bret hart 
the Hall of Famer. Uh, next we have uh, Bridge to Terabithia. This was a great movie um, about you know a kid who basically just imagines this other world, and it's it's just it's like every kid's dream, right? Is to have this other world where you can go, and the things end up happening in real life that end up affecting that. But in the end, you know, he comes back to it. So really good movie. Uh, I really like this. Uh, another one I have is Brokeback Mountain. Never seen it. I know about it, but never seen it. Um, Broken Sword Hero. I got this at Dollar Tree. I don't know. It just sounded kind of interesting. Um, so I picked it up, but haven't watched it. Another one of my favorite Disney movies, uh, Brother Bear. Um, just a really unique concept and really good movie about two brothers that get turned into bears after they die. and uh, Or, a well, a guy that gets turned into a bear. Um, and his brother's an eagle and it, you know it's just a really cool concept and I know they made a second one haven't seen that one nor do I have it um, but this is one of my favorite Disney movies uh, brothers and champions this is basically a documentary on the Pittsburgh Steelers um, brothers of destruction this is Kane and the Undertaker this is a WWE wrestling one but it shows some of their greatest matches as a tag team uh, now both Hall of Famers. So there's that. Uh, Bumblebee, I haven't watched this. Um, I've watched the first two Transformers movies. And I just haven't watched this one. Um, I think that is at the fifth. Technically. Fifth. Uh, Burn After Reading. Another one I got from that set of random movies. Um, I've heard about this and I've heard mixed things. A lot of big names in this movie. So... I'll have to check it out just to see what it's like. Uh, butterfly Effect. Now, here's another one I heard a lot of good things about and just haven't seen it. Um, Ashton Kutcher is in this. And I know a lot of people love this movie. I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Um, but I probably should. Here's another classic that I need to watch. Caddyshack. Um, again, heard good things about it. Just never watched it. This one I did see in theaters and rewatched it. Uh, this is the Call of the Wild with Harrison Ford. Um, never read the book, so I don't know how accurate it is um, compared to the book. But really good movie. I, I really enjoyed this both times I watched it. Um, kind of sad, but still really good movie. Um, really enjoyed this. And this was actually, I think, this was the first Fox released movie after Disney purchased Fox. Uh, next we have uh, Candyman. This is the new one um, from 2020, 2019, whatever. Um, haven't watched this one yet. I don't know if it's supposed to be a remake or if it's a sequel or uh, whatever, but it's produced by Jordan Peele. I have the original on Blu-ray, so you'll see that when I show my Blu-ray. But I just haven't gotten around to watching this one yet. I've heard mixed reviews about it. Um, and Tony Todd returns as uh, Candyman. And again, it's Jordan Peele, so I'll have to check it out at some point. Um, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. I love the original Candyman. A great movie. Uh, next is Captain America the Winter Soldier. I have... Captain America First Avenger on Blu-ray so you'll see that later um, one of my favorite MCU films uh, just a, a great movie overall uh, and then Captain America Civil War another good one um, but not my favorite it's not my least favorite um, but it's my least favorite of the Captain America movies uh, but not my least favorite MCU film by any means still a great movie just not one of my favorites uh, Captain Phillips, I have not watched yet. Heard good things. Need to check this out. Uh, next is the uh, Cartoon Network Hall of Fame collection. So it's got Courage the Cowardly Dog, Dexter's Laboratory, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and Johnny Bravo. Um, it's obviously not the full series of each, but it's got like different episodes from each of those movies. Um, shows that I watched on Cartoon Network growing up. So uh, Next is one of the only two James Bond movies I've seen, and that's Casino Royale. Daniel Craig, uh, I do remember liking this movie. Mads Mikkelsen is in it, Judy Dench is in it, 
Um, so I do remember liking this when I saw it, but again, I've only seen this and I think Quantum of Solace was the other one I saw. Uh, the next one I have is Casper the Friendly Ghost, or just, well, just Casper, I guess. Uh, but it's got this cool, like, slip cover on it. Uh, so I, I bought it, uh, just, you know, because it's Casper. Uh, next, I have Castle Rock Season 1 and Season 2. Haven't watched either one of these. They're based off of Stephen King uh, books, I think. And they're directed by J.J. Abrams and Stephen King. Um, I think they're basically like renditions of different stories of his or something. So I'll have to check those out. Uh, Cats and Dogs. Uh, one and two basically cats and dogs and cats and dogs revenge of kitty galore i watched the first one had a fun time with it haven't seen the second one uh next one is the cell um i don't know it was cheap and seemed interesting this next one i heard good things about chaos walking uh tom holland uh daisy ridley joe jonas or no nick jonas sorry and uh mads mickelson um I heard good things about this, wanted to see it in theaters, didn't get around to it, so I just haven't watched it yet. Um, Chappie, another one I've heard good things about that I need to watch. Don't know why I have this, honestly. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, don't really care. Um, it, it's basically a different rendition of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, um, but a different book too, so it's based off of the book. I don't care. Uh, nothing against Johnny Depp. It's just it's weird seeing him as Willy Wonka. Charlie Countryman. Um, I've heard good things about this actually, and uh, I just haven't gotten around to watching it. It was hard to find too, and I, I found it at Dollar Tree one time. So I was like, okay, sure. You know, this was after I heard other people talking about it. So I figured I'd pick it up and and see, and uh, just haven't watched it yet. But I've heard good things about it. Uh, here's another kind of classic Charlotte's Web. I think everybody's seen Charlotte's Web. Uh, this next one is uh, a double pack of Charlton Heston presents the Bible, uh, and it's got Jesus of Nazareth and the story of Moses. Um, haven't watched these, but I think he basically just talks about uh, these different stories and events that happened in, in the Bible. And then here's another one. This is the Passion, which is about Jesus and the crucifixion and stuff, I think. Um, but again, haven't seen any of those. I probably should watch them, though. Uh, Cheaper by the Dozen. This is another fun movie. Um, I think they made a second one, but I never watched it. But uh, really fun movie. Chef. Um, I've heard good things about this, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, it's got uh, John Favreau, Sofia Vergara, John Leguizamo, Scarlett Johansson, Oliver Platt, Bobby Cannavale, uh, Dustin Hoffman, and Robert Downey Jr., um, and basically John Favreau plays a food truck driver, I think. Um, so I, I've heard great things about it, but I just haven't checked it out yet. And then for some reason, I really love this Disney movie, uh, Chicken Little. This is literally my favorite Disney movie. Well, almost, of course, for Frozen. But, um, I don't know why I love this movie so much. I just, I, I have a great time watching Chicken Little. I need to rewatch it just because I love it so much. And then the uh, last stack here, finally, we're getting into. Uh, I have The Child in Time. Benedict Cumberbatch is in this. It seemed interesting. I guess it's about, like, a time traveler or something. Um, it sounded interesting, so I picked it up. It was the Dollar General or Dollar Tree or something. And uh, it was real cheap, so I figured I'd get it and check it out. I just haven't watched it yet, but it sounds cool. Uh, next is Child's Play, uh, the original, not the remake, with this cool, uh, like, cardboard thing on the front. Um, it's not a slip cover, it's just a, a piece of cardboard uh, on the front of the case, which is fine, because um, that's kind of cool. I love when they did these designs. I have Carrie, I think, on Blu-ray with one of those, but... Um, classic classic horror movie i've only seen parts of it though i haven't actually seen the full thing so i should probably watch that uh next is shonda pierce presents the bible uh or presents stand up for families sorry um it's basically a stand-up comedy thing hosted by shonda pierce who i guess is a comedian 
Uh, next is Christmas with the Cranks. Um, I had a good time with this movie. It's got um, Tim Allen, Jamie Lee Curtis, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Cheech Marin's in it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and basically their daughter is coming home for Christmas and they weren't going to celebrate, but now they have to. And it's just this whole thing. Um, really fun movie there. Uh, I, I liked it. Uh, Chronicle, I have not watched this, um, heard mixed things about it, probably should check it out at some point, but just haven't, um, Chronicles of Riddick, another one that I've heard mixed things on and haven't watched, so I need to check that one out, uh, next is one of my favorite trilogies of movies, uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, we have, of course, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, one of my favorite movies just ever, like, I mean, I could rewatch this now, and I think it would still hold up. I just, I don't know why. It's just something about this movie is great. I never read any of these books. So I don't know if they're accurate. Um, but it's just something about this. The, this movie is great. Um, so I really like the first one. Uh, the second one is Prince Caspian. Not bad. Um, doesn't really make sense compared to the first one. But as a solo movie, not bad. Um, and then the third one, again, wasn't bad, but there was a lot of confusing things in it. Um, but not bad as a trilogy overall. And then, of course, you have the original BBC TV series of The Chronicles of Narnia, uh, which I had on VHS. Um, and we watched, I watched the first one, at least, on VHS. <laughs> really old, like, cartoony animations and stuff for some of the creatures, but, uh, I mean, it's an older thing so still still a good time though uh next is the chuck norris um it, well this was a double set of movies with chuck norris and uh steven seagal i think i don't know if they're in all of these movies or not but the set is on the back there and some of these in here are also steven seagal but chuck norris is definitely in logan's war bound by honor um, I hate when they do that. They advertise it as like a Chuck Norris thing, and then he's in like one of the movies. Uh, and then this one is Chuck Norris Total Attack Pack, which has Lone Wolf McQuaid, Missing in Action, Code of Silence, and Delta Force. Uh, he is in all four of those, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, based off the back, I would assume so. Um, but Chuck Norris, you know, you get all the Chuck Norris jokes and stuff, but I've never actually seen anything uh, with Chuck Norris in it. Well, I saw one of the Expendables movies, but um, never watched one of his solo films. Uh, next is the Chucky, uh, the Killer DVD collection. Now, when I bought this, I thought it had Child's Play, Child's Play 2, 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky, so I thought it was five movies. Um, and then I got home and realized that it's only Child's Play 2, 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. So I had to then go buy the first one, which you saw earlier, for Child's Play. Um, haven't seen any of these, but again, classic horror movies. This one I got as a, uh, Disney movie rewards, um, mystery Blu-ray or mystery DVD. Uh, I had enough points and I saved up and, and got a mystery DVD and this is what they sent me. It's a two pack of Cinderella two and three. I didn't even know they made them. Not going to watch it, but I kept it because it, first off, it's a Disney movie and they don't do that anymore for, uh, Disney movie rewards. So I, uh, I decided to keep it. Uh, circus Noel, this seemed interesting. I think it's, it takes place in a circus, and these kids grow up in a circus or something. Um, so that that was kind of cool. Uh, this is uh, the Cisco Kid. This is a cardboard thing. My grandma gave this to me. Um, it's basically like a mini series or something. Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. Seen both of these. Like the first one. Could do without the second one, but it's still not a bad movie. But Clash of the Titans is good. Uh, next is the classic Christmas favorites. Ten holiday films, uh, including Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, um, The Year Without a Santa Claus, Frosty's Winter Wonderland, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, as well as some other ones uh, all listed here on the back. You can see that. Um... So, you know, of course, classics. Um, and I do have How the Grinch Stole Christmas already on DVD, both of them. So you'll see those again later on. 
but a lot of classic animated Christmas movies. I told you I had a solo copy of Click. Uh, I mentioned it earlier in the Adam Sandler collection. One of my favorite Adam Sandler movies because it has a twist at the end. Uh, the Climb, I have not watched this. Um, so I'll have to check that one out. Clint Eastwood, uh, four movie collection. This is A Fistful of Dollars for a Few Dollars More, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Hang Em High. I've seen parts of some of these, but never actually watched the full movies for any of these. Um, but Clint Eastwood's just, you know, one of the greatest Western actors. He's not Western, but he did. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Um, next is another one of those ones from that random set. Uh, this is called Closer. Don't know anything about it. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1 and 2. Saw the first one, didn't mind it. Never saw the second one. Uh, Cloverfield. I need to check this out because I've heard mixed things on it. And I just kind of want to see what it's like. Another one uh, that I've heard mixed things on is Clue. Um, I've played the board game, so if it's anything like the board game, it should be fun uh, to watch. But Tim Curry's in it. Um, I know there's some other people in it. Um, Christopher Lloyd is in it. So that that should be fun to watch. I've heard mixed things on it, but I'll probably watch it at some point. I'm into like those murder mystery things, and it kind of reminds me of like Knives Out. Uh, Cobra Cobra Kai Seasons 1 and 2 uh, I watched the Karate Kid movie The original um, And liked it So I bought this I haven't watched the series I don't know if it's good or not I bought this with the intent to watch it And just haven't gotten around to it uh, Coco Another Pixar movie um, Haven't seen the full thing of this I've seen clips I've seen pieces of it I know the songs from Coco I've just never actually seen Coco, so I should probably should because I love Pixar movies. Um, then this is Code Eight, which is a random, like five dollar movie or something from Walmart. Sounded interesting, uh, so I picked it up because I guess it's about like police or something, um, or it's somebody has supernatural abilities or something like that. Sounded interesting, picked it up, just never got around to watching it. And then the last one for this first case is season one of Code Black. This was actually a pretty good series. They only got three seasons in. I don't know why they canceled this show. I was really enjoying it. I'm not a huge fan of these, like, medical shows. I'm more into, like, the cop stuff, you know, like Law and Order and stuff. But this, I actually didn't mind. I was actually enjoying the show. And then season three happened, and they were just like, now nah, we're done. So... Uh, I have the first two seasons. This is season one. You'll see season two at the start of the next one because it's in the next uh, bin that I have. Um, but a really good show. So if you're into like medical shows, uh, definitely check that out. So anyways, guys, there you go. That was my part one of my full DVD and Blu-ray collection update. Uh, we'll be doing this over the next couple of weeks probably. Uh, hopefully not too many parts. Uh, depending on how many I get done and then we'll end with the blu-rays. So these first couple are just going to be DVDs um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry. It's so long each one is probably going to be this long So just just remember that sit back relax and enjoy with a bucket of popcorn and a, and a big old drink or something um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, I really love collecting movies if you couldn't tell and if you haven't watched any of the reviews I've done on some of these movies or haven't watched my previous uh, collection videos and want to see what I had before I haven't really gotten rid of any but I've definitely added some to it uh, they're all listed on this channel so you can go watch any of those videos uh, remember guys leave the scumbaggery at home and I'll see you guys in the next one subscribe